Where are they and what sparked the gang retaliation? Tonight, Oakland police are working nonstop to track down the gunman who opened fire at that school yesterday, hitting six people. Two students, a school counselor, two, a security guard, and two other school employees, all of them hit. They're all adults over the age of 18. Tonight, three of these people are still in the hospital. The King Estates campus, where it happened, remains closed. Tonight, we're also learning more about the shooters. Investigators say they could see on video that at least two armed men carried out the attack yesterday, and they had at least one accomplice, maybe two, all of them still on the loose. Police chief believes the shooters had an intended target, and while it's unclear exactly who, the chief says they're looking at all six victims closely. Now, our investigative unit has been digging in to find out who the gunmen were after and why. According to police sources, the apparent target is a student who recently enrolled at Rudsdale Newcomer School. It's believed that one of the shooters attended that student's previous school. So now what? How do you stop these retaliatory attacks? Well, that's exactly what people at Memorial Forum in Castleman High wanted to hear from the five people running to be the next mayor of Oakland. Here's NBC Bay Area Cheryl Heard. What has never happened here before happened yesterday. A middle school principal starting out tonight's Oakland Mayoral Forum with an emotional plea for student safety on campus. This is an urgent call for action. The time is now. Her call to action directed at five candidates who are running for Oakland mayor, replacing Libby Schaff, who has termed out. Our crisis is centered on the crisis of leadership. Keeping campuses safe from gun violence was the hot topic. As mayor, I'll double the funding that we've put into violence prevention, intervention, and healing and trauma care. We need to address the root causes and invest in them. This forum comes on the heels of Wednesday's mass shooting at King Estates School Complex and during a time when Oakland police and families are dealing with an overwhelming amount of shootings and killings. The candidates say they know what it takes to fight crime. When I look at our public safety system, we need someone who's got the consistency and the courage to stand up against the loud voices in the room. Please, when we are attacking the police, when we are not giving them the tools that they need to do their job properly, uh, that is the results. We spoke with Oakland Police Chief Laron Armstrong about how his department responded to yesterday's shooting. Our first officer on scene was there in four minutes. I think we have to end this generational belief uh, that we can't communicate with the police. We also spoke with parents at the forum who are scared and believe they know what's needed to bring about peace. More security, more security, more security um, having closed doors. Parents tonight say that they've heard solutions for a safer Oakland, but the city is still in crisis. They're hoping a new mayor will keep his or her promise. In Oakland, Cheryl Heard, NBC Bay Area News.